gentlemen, and welcome to the Dallas Center for game number six of the NBA Finals. And at guard, number 23 at 6'6", from North Carolina, Michael Jordan. Hornacek is now 18 for 46 in the series. Jordan, there's his first field goal, and the Bulls take a 10-8 lead. If you take away Hornacek 7 of 11 in game three, Jordan for three. Got it. Jordan with five. And Chicago with a seven-point lead. Shot clock violation. Michael gave it up. They weren't even close to hosting a shot before 24 seconds. Terrific team defense. But Isaiah, the play before, Brian Russell went down on the floor, knocked the loose ball away, and Hornacek got the three. Jordan over Russell. Tied at 22 with half a minute to play in the period. Jordan, double team, forces up the quarter's final shot and misses it. A better start for Carl than for Michael. Then the one off the glass. Jordan wheels inside around Anderson. And again, it's a two-point game. Michael has 10. Jordan, daylight for three. 13 for Michael. Utah by one. Michael Jordan down. Jordan into the lane. Tough shot. He was fouled. He'll come to the line with a chance to tie it. Michael springs free and takes the lob from Kukoc. Great roll off for Russell. Faked up and spent off him. Kukoc put it right there for the easy lay-in for Jordan. Michael, head fake. He traveled. So Phil got the traveling call, but certainly not on the guy he wanted. But Steve Kerr just said to Pavetta, hey, call it on Malone down at the other end. Jordan for three. And there's his answer. I think that's his third three of the game, Bob. And going into this game, it was Russell's first basket. Here's Michael. He's got 21. I'm watching Jordan, and he's in such a nice rhythm offensively. Everything is coming very easy to him. And right now, they have to be really careful because this looks like this could be a 40-point game from him. So Russell pushes him back, and he catches it. Now you got an angry Michael Jordan. He squares up and buries the shot. So the referees let both of them get a blow in, and Michael finished with a jump shot. 8 of 14 thus far. Down by two, the Bulls put it in play. Jordan's the guy they want even more so than usual, and that's why. 15 of his 23 have come in this quarter. Malone, the bounce to Russell. Two big assists in the last couple of possessions for Malone. Three seconds, Michael to half court, from there, almost. So Jordan had 23, matching his number in the first half, but missed his last four. Malone generally more accurate in the course of scoring 20. Jordan pulls up and connects. 25 for MJ. See, Jerry Sloan is very upset. Adam Keith did not show out on that screen. Mike. The bad back makes one of assignment on him a whole lot easier. Left alone, he doesn't take the three. Michael, fade away. See, if I'm Hornacek, I make Pippen make one of those shots. He's really rushing out to, to close out on him. He's got to show me he can shoot that ball before I'm too concerned with him. i got to be more worried about Michael Jordan. Fakes Russell out and shoots a nice fadeaway tape. But I agree with you, Doug. I will make Scottie Pippen make one of those three-point shots before I leave Michael Jordan alone in the low post. Michael's pass to Scotty. And finally, the tip drops. Rodman gets credit for the basket, but it looked like Pippen was not able. Rodman 
Out to Michael. Now screening for him. Morris fights through the screen. Michael takes him baseline. Draws the contact and the foul. Carl Malone. Easily his best game since game two. Michael. Confronted by Carr after he blew by Morris. And Jordan will come to the line. One of two. I think with Michael Jordan, he's smart enough to rest on defense and try to conserve his energy for offense. Here he is on offense. And he'll be coming to the foul line just as the fourth quarter starts. But even those poundings take something out of him, right, as he goes to the basket. Now, those are the things. Minutes of the fourth quarter without Pippen, he's not going to get that rest. So we'll see what that does as the game wears on. But Jordan is the one individual that I've seen in this game since I've played. Jordan against Anderson. He's still Michael Jordan. Whatever he has lost through fatigue, through age. Russell is on him. He gets by him. Now Carr comes over and commits the foul. You see, they're so conscious of Michael Jordan coming off the screen. He gave Russell the fake. So they had it removed. Defense has been dominant against Utah in the fourth quarter. Jordan with the jumper. And with 37 points, as Utah falls behind now for the first time since midway through the second quarter. See, he's headed for 40. I would start double teaming Jordan every time he touched it. Brian Russell went down, and there's a foul on Kukoc. You, know, you talk about wanting to bring Jordan to the middle. With every ounce of energy that he has, goes up and gets the skill. He misses the shot, the three that would have put him up one. Had this gone through, it would have been a four-point lead for the Jazz. Michael gets back and makes the great steal. Jordan spinning, double team, has to get rid of it. Gets it right back from Pippen. Double pump, knocked away by Carr, and a foul. He hits them both. Trying to get to the basket against Anderson. Pulls up and takes the jump shot again. They're keeping him out on the perimeter, not allowing him to get it to the post. Coming to the foul line for his patented free throw line, Jay. But again, Russell keeping him out of the post. Pulls up, shoots it a little short. Jordan ties it. Cross court, Stockton, a three. It's there! Working on Russell. Brings them to within one. They scored within four seconds there. That's how quickly that changes now. Now it puts the pressure on the Jazz to score once again. Jordan with 43. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Here comes Chicago. 17 seconds. 17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead! Timeout, Utah, 5.2 seconds left. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. At the end of the game, you gotta get it out of his hands. He's beat you so many times. You watch Jordan play, Doug, and you know that at the end of the game, he's a killer. This was really the play that hurt Isaiah because they scored so quickly. Michael got in there and scored within four seconds. And what, and what happened was Michael doubled back. You're going to see he's in the play. Look where Hornacek is setting the screen. Michael never clears, so Malone doesn't see him. He comes from the blind side and strips him. So three crucial plays here by Michael Jordan now as he gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips, and Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been 
Who knows what will unfold in the next several months? But that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. The referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is he has all the tricks. That's why it's so difficult to guard him. If that's the last image of Michael Jordan, how magnificent is it? Stopped it. Harper's on him. Behind the screen. Harper got a piece of it. It comes off. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat. Jackson and Jordan, perhaps for the last time. Michael Jordan is as great a competitor as sports has ever seen. He also has an uncanny sense of theater. And as he makes his decision, he'll think about the fact that he could not ask for a better punctuation than this. To not only hit the winning basket, but have it be the last shot he takes this season, maybe the last he'll ever take in a Chicago Bulls uniform, to win the game and the championship by a point. Six MVPs, Michael Jordan, get over here. You grace us with your presence. You've contributed mightily to our league. And tonight you gave one of the singular performances in the history of the NBA Finals. Thank you and congratulations, 1998 NBA Finals MVP, Michael Jordan. award before but somehow I have the feeling that this one is more special than all of them well let me say hello to my wife and my kids at home because they desperately wanted to come I didn't want them to come here today because I wanted to focus on the game but I wish they were here to help me celebrate I know they're there cheering and I can't wait to get home but to the Utah fans you guys are a tough bunch to play in front of you guys came out with a lot of loyalty and respect for your team you made it really tough for us uh, we really, after losing game five in Chicago, a couple of us dread coming back to Utah because we had to deal with the fans because of the energy that they bring to the game. But we had no choice, so we had to come in and play our best, and you guys made it a very competitive finals, and you know it's very worthy to win this. And I think of all the championships that we've won, this is the toughest.